the brain skin connection. This is the most essential piece of healing long term. I'm a nutritionist, so I started just practicing with using food as medicine, working on the gut, looking at blood work. And then I realized that there's such a big mental and emotional part with eczema. I just thought it was me. About 90% of people in the program had eczema as a child, was manageable, came back with a vengeance when they're older. Either a death in the family, a breakup, university, pregnancy. There was always something impactful that happened and the body hadn't been well since. If you are that person that's busy, always on the go, always rushing, always doing things for other people, not prioritizing yourself, resting. If you're always in that fight, flight, survival mode, your body has different nervous system states. And what can happen is if you're in that fight, survival mode, all of your resources and your blood will go to your vital organs. It takes you out of that rest and digest healing state. So that's your parasympathetic and that's where your repairing hormones, repairing your skin, digesting, and it takes all the blood flow to your fight, flight, survival mode. So you can get ready to run away from the tiger, right? Your breath rate increases, your heart rate increases, your pupils dilate, and you get ready to, to run. For a lot of people, and we see this a lot in the program, is that they're stuck in this fight, flight, survival mode. And so the body's not in a state to heal. And for everybody that is trying to do the gut healing, you might be working with other practitioners, and we have so many people that come into the program and they're doing all the things, but they're still stuck in that mode. Because if you're not in a state to heal in that rest and digest, no diet or no supplement's gonna work. Stress is stress for your nervous system. It has the same physiological response in your body. Whether you're busy with kids or busy with a work project, your body's still perceiving that you're about to die. It's gonna shut down those systems and prioritize the other ones. That's why it's so important. <laughs> This is just so important that we need to get the body in a state to heal. One of the things that we've been tracking with all the clients in the program is what's the most beneficial and the most effective tools that we can use with our clients and that get them the best results. And what we've noticed is that the people that come to the call, as they really stay engaged, that they get the best results. And so when we're workshopping this with the neuropsych, we're sitting down with Michelle and she's like, okay, so for somebody that has a system that hasn't felt safe, we're in this fight, flight, survival mode, that means it doesn't feel safe. There's a danger. So you need to feel safe and have safety to be able to heal, to get that body into a state where it's feeling safe to get yourself in that rest and digest. So it's so interesting how the nervous system clocks safe and not safe. If you're not safe, you're not going to be able to heal. That's something interesting that we've workshopped with our clients is that when they come to the calls, they have support, they have created safety, then that's when those people get the best results. It's super, super interesting just from a neuropsych lens of how that works.